So, at least as far as the story goes, a long, long time ago, even before me, decades and decades ago, a train came from New York City with some major filmmakers. They say Cecil B. DeMille, one of the older Warner brothers, they said, Flagstaff, this is where we want to start our movie careers here. And we're leaving New York, going west. And then it snowed. And they said, let's get back on the train. <laughs> and they wound up in Hollywood. And you know what? That was so long ago, people have forgotten that the movie business really has been important here for years. And occasionally, we wind up with a filmmaker who wound up with a property in the Cannes Film Festival. It did. Ed Vanderlee, movie producer, former stuntman. How did that whole Cannes Film Festival happen? Well, we met a wonderful gentleman by the name of Matesh, and he offered to take our movie to Cannes and show it around. This is a Western that you made right here. Yes, this is Road to Revenge, and it was made all in Arizona. Uh, by Arizona actors, Arizona producers. Uh, the story is from my business partner, George Nelson. He sat on this story for many years, and finally we got this movie made. And we got it made, then it went off to Cannes, and lo and behold, now we have a distribution deal, and it's, it's out now. And around the country? Around, around the country. Uh, you can buy DVDs, you can, buy, you can stream it. Uh, but if I wanted to get a DVD, though, because I know enough about the film, uh -huh. having made a guest appearance. Uh, oh, that's right. You well, were yeah, in it. I, I don't believe that it really hit the budget uh, <laughs> very heavily. You were able to continue on the film. But no, that was one of those times when I, uh, I had a good time with an old friend uh, with a... Uh, a cameo role yes. as as a card shark in a really rundown saloon. But if I was interested in getting a uh, a copy, I don't know what I would ask for because you just said it was the Road to Revenge. The movie that I made with you was the Royals' Revenge. Yes. So. Distribution companies sometimes have a way of changing things. And they said, we love your film, we love everything about it, but we're gonna change the name of it to sell it in America and Canada. So they did, it went from Royals Revenge to Road to Revenge, and that's part of the movie business. Now here's the best part of it. If you go over to Germany or Italy, where our next distribution is, it will be Royals Revenge. But not in the <laughs> UK. Uh, we not yet, not yet. We're working on that. Yeah, but then you're talking about Harry and Meghan, and it's another <laughs> story altogether. The movie business, though, used to be uh, a whole lot bigger mm -hmm. in Arizona. It was back in the old days when John Ford, John Wayne, mm -hmm. and those people were making westerns all across the state. Wonderful for obvious westerns. reasons. Wonderful westerns. What happened? <sighs> A lot of reasons I could go into, but I would say mainly it's all about the money, all about the almighty dollar. It was cheaper to make them elsewhere. Uh, it became, different states offer different tax credits. Uh, Arizona, for some reason, didn't keep up with it. But it's more expensive to do it in Hollywood with those kinds of union prices, though, isn't it? Uh, most Westerns that I know of don't get made in Hollywood. No, but yeah. movies in general. Yes, as far as I know. So, is the movie business possibly coming back, considering the fact that we don't give producers like you climate problems? I, I hope it comes back to Arizona. Uh, Arizona's my home. I love making films in Arizona. Uh, I believe that being an independent filmmaker, and there's so many great ones here in the state, that we have a different type of advantage because we're not doing films for SAG or stuff like that right now, but we hope to be. And there's a SAG office here in Arizona that we work that's with. That's Screen Actors Guild, that's the union. Yes. Well, what's next? That's what I want to know because now you're in the big money. Now, yes. now you've got money coming in from Asia and from Europe and across the United States with the Royals slash 
Road to Revenge, your latest film. So that means you probably have a taste for it. Oh yes, a matter of fact, we already have our next film in the works. It will be shooting it in January of 2022. And the best part of it is we don't have to self-fund this one because of the success of Royals slash Road to Revenge. That's really good to know. Yes. Particularly if there is a card dealer written into the new plot line. The, the card dealer is kind of iffy, but the madam, we're definitely going to put her in. <laughs> Listen, I've worn women's clothes on television in the past. <laughs> Why not? Uh, the name of your company? Rough Rider Total Entertainment. Okay. And uh, you're interested in anybody who's interested in helping out with the film business, huh? Yep. Anybody that wants to come out, come on out. We'd love to have Arizona talent involved. Name of the company again? Rough Rider Total Entertainment. I just love the idea with all this sunshine that they're making movies here. And I introduced you to Ed Vanderley, who's probably been as successful as anybody else has been for a long, long time. Nice to have you with us.